Now that you guys have seen the process of making my suitcases, I have three to share with you guys and I absolutely love how these have turned out. I love the embellishment piece that I have added to the front and now I'm going to show you one by one. So I have mixed the Maggie Holmes Market Square paper and also the Maggie Holmes Parasol paper. Now this first suitcase here is mainly the Market Square papers. And I have used the washi on the handle to give it that sturdiness and stitched it. And I love the colors of the brads I've used as well. I have a um, area of brads that I wanna use and I got to use six of them this time. So I'm super happy. So this is the front embellishment I got to add and I love this so, so much. I did um, add some dimension by putting some foam tape behind. Let's see. I was thinking of just gluing it on straight down, but I decided that it needs a little bit of dimension to pop it up a bit. And so I did that and I absolutely love it. I used the strawberry paper from the Market Square, the matte gold cardstock to die cut the uh, honeycomb part. And I used this lovely mesh that I got from BB Craft in between the ruler piece and the moments piece. And all of the ruler and the moments and this pink label piece were all from one 12 by 12 cut apart page from the Market Square. And normally with the pattern paper like this, I like to fussy cut, but I thought how amazing would it be to have it on the suitcase so you can see lots of it in one go. So this one just opens up nice and simple like this. And the inside is like this, you guys. I used the tomato paper from the Market Square and I used this uh, old vintage story paper from the Market Square. I love the inside as well. So this can be filled with embellishments, stickers, whatever you wanna put in it. So there's that one. Here is the one where I have used the Market Square. This is from the Market Square and this is from Market Square, but the green base uh, uh, paper is from the Parasol collection. And there is my similar bumblebee cluster that I have made using the Market Square cut apart pieces. It says lovely day. I love the black and white paper that was in that collection. And when you cut it out, it just looks as if I watercolored that black bit there. I love it so, so much. I feel like it's very nice and simple and elegant. And this is just so my style. I love it so, so much. The washi tape I have used on every one of these uh, suitcase handles because I thought the foiling of the pattern is just so beautiful on top. And this time I got to use the glittery green bread. And the inside of this one here is like this, the pattern paper. There's that one. And then this one here is the third one. It says you and me. I love all of the colors in here as well. Like as with all the Maggie Holmes collection, you can mix and match because the color tones just go so nicely together. I was actually having a lot of dilemma choosing the pattern papers for the bags and I just had too many choices, but I came down to these three. And you guys probably have guessed these three are going to be included in my challenge giveaway prize mail. I have three winners and it's going to be chosen in December. And I look forward to receiving the challenge entries soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.